Welcome back to Morning Mix. Learning doesn't limit just the school boundary. It happens all the time and it happens everywhere. I spoke with a youth development expert who explains why extracurricular programs, specifically environmental education through the 4-H program, are essential components to growth and development. Check this out. We are with Patricia Whitener. She is youth development expert. Uh, thanks for joining us, Pat Patricia. Good morning. Good morning. Glad to be here. Absolutely. Uh, so why extracurricular programs are essential components? So it's a big thing for especially for growth and development for kids these days. Tell us why these programs are so important for kids growth and development. Absolutely. Well, you know, outside of our school time, um, a lot of times parents and families, caregivers um, are still working. And so kids get out of school and it's like, what now? And so a lot of times it's just about providing after school care until those parents and caregivers can come home in the evenings. But oftentimes it's also about nurturing those gifts, building skills, really um, being intentional about utilizing that out of school time space um, in order for children to thrive. And of course, we're talking about the Thrive, the 4-H uh, youth program that we're there, uh, the logo on the screen. So what is environmental education through 4-H? Uh, why is that so important? Right. So positive youth development programs like 4-H recognize that all young people have interests, abilities, and strengths. Um, our youth are our future. They're the ones who are inheriting this amazing planet of ours, um, and they're the ones who are going to be tasked with solving some of the problems that we're encountering now. And are there any activities that are more, say, recommended than others? Well, I think it really is, regardless of the of the extracurricular activity, whether it be um, natural resources, environmental science, it could be volunteering, um, athletics, um, music, creative arts, STEM, really 4-H provides all of those opportunities, regardless of what the topic of area of interest is, it really is about engaging youth, um, giving them a chance to engage with their peers, offering guidance of supportive adults. Um, again, it's that after school time that provides youth with opportunities to explore their skills, their talents, their interests. We're trying to find out what sparks them. And with natural resource programming and environmental science programming in 4-H, we're giving them that sort of experiential learning opportunity in an outdoor setting um, to try to identify what sparks them, what are their interests. It really is an all-encompassing program that we're talking about here. Patricia, what would your message be or advice to uh, parents for the kids as they're getting back to school or just starting back? Right. It really is about giving them an opportunity to expand those um, new ideas, those new experiences. Um, children need help finding out what the right activities for them are. It's important to allow them that exploration. Um, we don't want to force them to participate in activities that don't interest them, that can lead to boredom, right. frustration. So really being um, open to allowing them to explore, um, finding what those interests are, trying new things. Um, again, with these positive youth development programs, especially out of school time, all of the research is very supportive, um, in particular with environmental programs, that it's going to help your student foster a greater sense of purpose. It's going to provide them with an opportunity to develop their social skills, leadership, cooperation, um, gives them that peer interaction. Um, in addition to all the numerous health benefits like stress relief, depression, um, obesity, anxiety, all of this is going to result in higher grades, better school attendance. It's going to lead to your child thriving. Um, so it's very important to be intentional about engaging them um, in whatever way that sparks them in that out of school time setting. Really covers a lot. Patricia, where can people go, parents go to get more information on this 4 H uh, Helping You Thrive program? Well, 4 H is in every state across this great country. Um, here in South Carolina, it is disseminated through Clemson University and SC State. Those are our two land grant universities here. Um, and you can go to our website at clemson.edu backslash 4 H. All right, great information to have. Thanks so much again. Uh, youth development expert Patricia Widener with Clemson University. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you.